Hey guys, this is Mr. Breen, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to distinguish cum clauses, meaning when clauses, with cum as the clause marker, and cum prepositional phrases. For a long time you've had this word cum as a preposition meaning with, but now we're seeing this word cum as a conjunction meaning when. So how do you tell the difference? Well, let's think about how to tell whether something is a clause marker or not. What kinds of things come after clause markers? Well, entire clauses. So, in the following sentence, cum quiues romam veniunt, hostes timidi erant, notice that after cum comes a verb, a subject, and uh, not a dio, but a place to which accusative. And then there's a whole other clause over here. We have two clauses. Where's our clause marker? It's come. If I were going to bracket and label this sentence, I would do the following. Come, when he in, subject, verb, not a dio, romam, not a dio, subject, verb, timidy, uh, subject, complement. This is some, so it's a linking kernel. But there we have it. This must mean when. All right, on the other hand, what kinds of things go with prepositions? Well, prepositions take a noun that's an object of prep. Um, and with come, that preposition can only take one case, the ablative case. So in the following sentence, come kiwabus hostes pugnaban, you'll notice two things. There's only one clause. That tells us we don't have a clause marker, and that alone actually would be enough to tell us. Um, but we also see that cum is followed by an ablative noun. This tells me that that's cum preposition, meaning with. So if I were going to bracket label translate, I would put this in parentheses. I'd say this is um, probably the subject hostes, and pugnabant is a verb. And this whole thing is going to mean the enemies fight, were fighting with the citizens. All right, at this point, I'm going to ask you to pause your videos. Um, I'm only going to talk for, you know, 10 seconds or so, um, and I'm going to leave a five-second pause. So I want you to pause the video, look at these sentences, maybe get a piece of paper, um, write down uh, your answers to these questions. So I want you to bracket, label, translate, and tell me whether that come is a preposition or a clause marker, in other words, a conjunction. So preposition or conjunction. Okay, I'm going to bracket and label these sentences before moving on. Let's start with this uh, first sentence, cum Aeneas. I immediately see that cum is not followed by an ablative. I'm going to go ahead and guess that's a clause marker or a conjunction. Um, and let's bracket, label, and translate. Aeneas, Carthaginem, probably not a direct object, probably a place to which. Carthage is a place. Now we got whereat is a verb. And the clause dido is a dio. This is a verb. You know, I knew that I wanted to end the clause at now we got where at um, because I wrote the sentence. But also, uh, probably he's sailing dido. Not really. Not sailing dido. He's probably seeing dido. Okay, moving on to the next sentence. Come didon. I immediately see that didonet is an ablative. So come plus ablative, probably a prep. Inea subject, per weas. Uh, Carthaginis is a genitive that goes with weas for sure. Uh, and that, and then ambulava's a verb. All right. Come kana. Come kana. Uh, well, kana is ablative, so that's almost definitely this. Um, you know what? This is a typo. This should be quam. And I thought I fixed it, but apparently not. That should be quam. Uh, otherwise, that's going to cause problems, as you'll see. But this is a clause marker, and probably modifies that like relative clauses tend to do. Quintus, this itself, is the do of the sentence. Quintus is the subject, habuit verb. Now we have another subject, so we better end our clause there. Domum is a place to which, and verb cucurit. Okay, I say that's a place to which because we have a verb of motion, and domum is a place. Uh, she's going to run home. Um, now I'm going to label underneath the words because I kind of ran out of space above there. Milites Romani. Well, it's an adjective modifying milites. It's a subject. In hostium. This is genitive. So modifies teras, and then that's going to end there. Verb wainerunt. Come hostes. Okay, come is followed not by an ablative. Probably a clause marker. There we go. 
Post days, I don't know if that's a subject or verb yet. Let's see. Well, aorum uh, either is going to modify host days or teras. I don't even know that. Um, okay, well, we, I have nothing else that could be the subject, but this is definitely the do. So do infinitive. Here we have a verb. And aorum, let's see. Their enemies were going to invade lands, or enemies were going to invade their lands. Probably their lands. Host days must be... Now let's put it under there like with everybody else. Hostess. Subject. And end the clause there. There we go. Okay, so here are some of the answers that, to the translations, with, followed by, you know, whether comb was a preposition or a, or a conjunction, um, just so you can look at them.